the rest of my V8 conversion kit from Monster Miata here. I'm pretty excited. I think I'll showcase it real quick here before I start working on the car. This is the V8 conversion kit from Monster Miata. Before I start using some of these parts, I really wanted to get a, a video clip while they're all laid out together on the floor. I'm not going to go into too, too much detail here. I'm just going to show the main parts. We got the new radiator and we got uh, the new oil pan and the plastic modified. Then this is the Miata K member that's been modified. I paid more money to get a new part instead of shipping my old one in. So we can compare it with the older one in the back there. We can see that it's got, the new one's got some uh, different motor mount locations and the rear left has been modified for clearance. In the wrapper here, we've got a uh, new um, clutch master cylinder, some brackets and things. We've got in the blue mesh there, those are uh, new axles. And we've got the transmission cross member, some new hardware to mount the 8.84 differential. We've got some custom headers. We've got some uh, custom broached uh, rear wheel hubs to accommodate the Ford CVs. We've got some new coil springs for the front for, uh, to accommodate the extra weight of the V8. Now the kit assumes that you're going to get your own uh, custom drive shaft, but I paid a little bit more to have it included in the kit. Just thought it'd make things easier. Then over here we've got the power steering option. I paid a little bit more for this and what it is is, is a custom bracket that uh, will adapt the stock Miata power steering pump to the Ford uh, engine. And you get a new crank pulley that's, got, that's been modified to be able to uh, put a secondary belt on it to turn the, to turn the uh, power steering uh, pump from the Miata. And then we see some custom electric uh, fans in the back there. So there's a bunch of other miscellaneous little hardware that I'm not really going to get into, but essentially that is the kit.